<laughs> How are you doing? How's your day going? I'm doing all right. Thanks. Yeah, having a good day. It's nice to be working, but yeah. from home, this is fun. <laughs> I read that you're always in sweatpants. I never loved you more. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> today, you know what? I put on a shirt and I'm actually wearing jeans, black jeans today, just oh, for you. <laughs> I feel very special. <laughs> I put on regular jeans. Got Great. The sweatpants. Yeah. It, it's a step up from sweatpants, you know, for a day like today. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about filming the sleepover. Oh, it was a blast. What a fun film to be part of. There were so many elements of it that I loved. You know, the script itself was just, it lends itself to a really great adventure. Um, but, but to get to work with Ken Marino, who I have known for over a decade, we've shot many things together. Um, I just love working with him. You know, it's just getting to work with people that you love is, it's so important because every day is, it's your life. You know, you're putting, putting your, life and energy into everything. And so to get to work with great people. So aside from Ken, everyone on set, there wasn't one bad apple. Everyone was so super focused, super excited to be there. There was a lot of laughs. I mean, I hope it sort of exudes um, off screen uh, the fun times that we actually had making this film. It was, it was brilliant. And you filmed it in Boston, right? Yeah. Yeah, what was that like? I love Boston. It is, what a beautiful city. I really enjoyed my time there. Um, great food, great restaurants, fun vibe, really fun people. I, I just, it was beautiful. We kind of were there in a, in, in a beautiful timing as well, um, where it was, it was still summer, it was still hot. And, and then it would it was kind of would go over to fall weather. And I, I love sort of the changing seasons. Um, so it was, it was just a gorgeous time to be there. I, I would definitely go back. Mm -hmm. And as someone from Toronto, I love that they wrote your characters being from Canada too. I know. Is that in the script? It was great. Yeah. I mean, oh God, I can't remember if it was in the script or not now that I think of it. I think it was. Um, but that was, you know, we definitely had lots of chats about it and, and it was just a great, I mean, obviously that's so much so easy to bring that you know all you have to do is bring in a little bit more of the politeness <laughs> boom you're Canadian <laughs> it's true even in quarantine we're very polite <laughs> yeah, exactly you still have a smile on your face see exactly and what was it like collaborating with Trish oh I love Trish God, I miss her it was great you know she is super fun and super easygoing I love it is always the director sets the tone for the whole set. And she was always focused. Uh, she came in ready. Um, she was also just super collaborative, which meaning that she was, she said, you know, let's do the couple versions the way the script is, and then please go off and just improv. And I want you to bring this to life. And I want you to let me know if something doesn't work or does work. And She's a silly, goofy person herself and really just really talented. So it was a great combination to get to work with her. So was there a specific scene or moment that you improvised you're really proud of? Oh, geez. I don't know. We did a lot of improv, a lot of stuff in the car. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't say that there's anything I'm proud of per se. I think the the stuff that I loved most was actually between Ken and Joe when they would improv mm -hmm. and get to watch that show. Oh man, that was, that was really funny. Um, when they're trying to pronounce the name of Jean-Paul Deauville <laughs> and they just keep going back. I mean, that, that went on for a good six, seven minutes. They just kept <laughs> running it and running and running. It was, it was great. So yeah, there were some good moments. Did you ever break? Were there any moments where you're like, I just, I can't. <laughs> oh my God, all the time. Are you kidding? I'm terrible at, at not breaking. I, I unfortunately have no willpower when it comes to that, especially with funny people. It's just impossible. And, and when they keep going and you don't know what to expect because they're improving and you're, you know, off, um, off book, it just is, then, then there is that element of surprise. And, and of course you just break out laughing. And so did Trish. There were lots of times where we'd hear her laughing in the corner. Like, Trish, we can hear you. <laughs> so it was great. 
<laughs> oh, that makes the job a lot of fun though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, so did you have a favorite scene or moment to shoot other than that one? Uh, you know, I, I really love all the stunt stuff that we got to do. Um, the big gala scene, I think was really exciting, uh, because there's an added element of the physical physicality Mm -hmm. and being part of the stunt group, the stunt team at that point who are so brilliant, uh, and to feel like you're part of this sort of team was, it, it was just, it was big and it was, uh, and it was sort of, it wasn't even reality. It feels like you're you're shooting something completely um, larger than life. And that was exciting to shoot. So that's one of my favorite scenes that I got to shoot. One of my favorite scenes that I love to watch is in the very beginning of the movie where Max does his dance in the bathroom. It was just fantastic. I really yeah. get so much, such a kick out of that. <laughs> and so speaking of Max, what was it like working with Max and Sadie and oh. Cree and Lucas? Great. They're... They're exceptional kids. I mean, they really are not only professionals. I mean, they came to set uber prepared, always ready to go. There were never any issues. So open and ready to improv as well, which is a big thing, you know, to ask of of kids. And um, I think Sadie and Cree are, are uber professionals. They've done lots of TV shows and, you know, they, they know what they're doing. They come in and you're like, wow, I wasn't that put together when I was their age at all. <laughs> um, and then you got sweet Lucas, who's just so lovely and ready to learn everything. And then Max, who really caught on to the whole um, improvisation thing where he would be coming in and going, hey, Ken, what about, like, maybe you should say this and then I'll say this. <laughs> he really got into it. And he had some great ideas and his, you know, his gut is really there. He's He's got some good comedic timing for sure. That's adorable. So going back to the physicality of the role, you made it look so easy, but what was the stunt training like? Oh, it was, it was intense. We didn't have much time to learn all this choreography. So we were in deep training. I mean, there were, and I was happy to, you know, we would do training sometimes on lunch breaks and we would do them on the weekends and after filming for a whole day, go and do some training. And um, it was, it was brilliant. Everyone was really hard at work and and I really tried my best to stay focused and get all the choreography and as best I could um you know I'm dragging this body along a little bit after 40 <laughs> like come on give it a shot um so we had to tweak a few things because like guys I can't I can't do that you're crazy um but we got there we got some good some good stunts in there for sure I really felt you're lying when you said at the end of the movie I have to take my heels off now I yeah. felt that. Yeah. You know, right. <laughs> that was like, honey, you should have taken those heels off a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was watching you run and like kick and I'm like, oh, oh. my God. Yeah. <laughs> I did that extra heel to just jab in there with the kick. So there you go. It's, a, it's an extra weapon on your feet. Yeah. So the movie is really about legacy. So what do you hope to pass on either in your DNA and your values to your son? Oh, in my real life, what do I hope to pass on? Yeah. I hope to pass on kindness. I think that it is such a big part of life and watching what kindness can do to people, a simple friendly word or a smile can change a person's day. And I just want him to be a kind person, a kind and empathetic person, Um, you know, and, and, and that, and that trust and respect are part of his everyday fiber of his being, um, that we all sort of keep an open communication, trust, love, kindness in this household. I know we can't see a lot of your projects, but are you gonna share this one? Am I, oh, this one for yeah. sure. That's why I'm so excited that he's gonna be able to see this one. This is one of the main reasons I ended up diving into a family film. I mean aside from the fact that I loved the script, but I don't know. I don't know that I'd been as eager to jump into a family film if I didn't have family myself. You know, I, I, I might've, I just don't know, but I know for sure that that was a big draw to it was, ah, finally I get to do a really cool film that my son can enjoy with me as well. So I'm looking forward to doing the premiere night with him. I'm gonna order some pizza, make some shakes and watch the movie. 
Oh, sweet. So what have you been watching lately or reading lately that you've really liked? So I have been watching, I just finished Normal People on Hulu. I don't know if you've watched that one. I did, yeah. Oh, I, lo- I loved it. It's a yeah. hit or miss for some people. I just oh, loved yeah. them. I thought it was beautifully done. What a beautiful story about relationships and and sort of the ebbs and flows and ever-changing um, uh, feelings within a relationship. Um, I loved that. And uh, I feel like it's ages ago we watched Tiger King, which I think the whole world watched as well, which is a completely yeah. different take. Um, and then I've been reading, I, I always tend to read like five different books at once. I can never seem to finish one at, at the same time. So yeah. Untamed by Glendon Doyle. Yeah, yeah I have that. Super fun. Yeah. It's, it's a <laughs> read um I'm also just starting Alicia Keys um biography oh I'm super excited about someone recommended it um yeah. those are my two main ones at the moment those are good ones <laughs> that are yeah. on the bedside table yeah yeah <laughs> when you have five going at a time yeah that's yeah. good that's a good you one know, the other ones are in the bookshelf and they're the page is folded for later <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I have bookmarks everywhere oh my god <laughs> And you're involved in a lot of producing work coming up. Tell me about some of those projects. Sure. I'm super excited to get into that world. And and I have um, two films coming out this year, actually, that I've produced and I'm starring in. One is called Friendsgiving, yeah. um, hopefully in time for Thanksgiving. Sort of end of October, I think, is when it's coming out. So it's just missing Canadian Thanksgiving and just right before um, uh, American Thanksgiving. America. Yeah. It'll be out. And, um, and then I have another one called Chick Fight, which mm-hmm. is um, coming out in November at some point as well, oh. mid-November. So we've got two of those and I'm super excited about them. Um, uh, Friendsgiving was written by a, a very close friend of mine and, and it is very loosely based on our lives, but it's more mm-hmm. about just um, two friends dealing with se- breakups, separate breakups and how they deal with it. And it all takes place in one crazy fun day. But yeah, the producing aspect of it is so much fun to build things from the ground up and be part of the whole creative process um, and not just step onto a set and be sort of a, a piece in a, in a chess game, which is also fun, but I am really enjoying. I've I'm, I'm got an, another few projects that I've optioned a book and I have another project that I'm trying to put together with writers and, and just um, just building from the ground up, which is exciting. Yay. And uh, you said that you bring a little part of yourself into Friendsgiving. Do you bring a part of yourself into your roles that you play too? Yeah, I think it's hard not to. I think you always do. I mean, you, I, I, I certainly feel like I play the characters uh, as, say, if I had to be a villain, I would play it if, as if I were that villain. And what, what would Malin be if? I had a different past and a different upbringing and uh, you know what would that turn me into and where can I where can I sort of dig deep into myself in order to bring that but of course you bring your you know your essence is always going to be there um but hopefully you can just conjure some sort of change within yourself to bring something new to a character Mm -hmm. And finally, I find you're a very giving and generous scene partner, I think. So who have you worked with in the past that you find very generous that you'd like to work with again? Oh, man, I have so many requests. (laughs) I mean, pretty much across the board, almost all the people that I've worked with have been wonderful to work with. Um, Of course, I have some favorites. I think that Wonderlust funnily enough is one of my favorites that I did and Ken Reno happens to be in that one as well but you know you've got Jen Aniston who is so lovely to work with and so giving and just just a sweetheart she's everything you hope and wish for um so that was really great but across the board the whole cast was wonderful yeah I've been lucky I mean I you could name all of them and I'd be like yep that one and that one and that one (laughs) I'd do it all over again with all of them Good for you. Yeah. So thank you so, so much for your time. I can't wait to see your projects coming up. Cue up the good work. Thank you so much. And Take thank, care. Thank, thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Up next. Thank you, Leora. Have a good one.